Yeah, finally. Finally. Our network is so bad today. Okay, so let's wait um, a little bit for more people to come in before we... Good evening, Doreen, how are you doing? Thank you. Okay, so I'm hoping that, you know, I've changed my position my previous position really bad okay yeah i can see you guys i'm so sorry guys the network is so bad um i mean i can't do that one the network is horribly bad but i i think it's working now so question here saying Okay, I can see you guys now. I saw one question here saying, I'm going to repeat myself, that while I was in my previous marriage, I never saw you. I only knew him as an actor. Now, you know, a lot of, lots of people are saying all over social media that I was in my previous marriage when I met him. Now I'm saying that if I saw you with my two eyes while in that marriage, if I saw him, let alone said a word with him, if I saw him with my two eyes while in that marriage, then let all the curses, let it come to me a thousand times over. But if for any reason that my marriage was completely dissolved, and it was years after it was dissolved before I saw you for the first time. Then let the curses go back to the people cursing me a thousand times over. That was a lie from the pit of hell to destroy my person and to destroy Yuli Duchi's name. But unfortunately, you can't destroy what you didn't build. If you have God with you, Nobody can bring you down, no matter how hard they try. Now, before I go to the uh, matter of the day, the major reason why I'm, I'm on this life, lots and lots of people on social media are all playing innocent, all acting saints, praising God every second of the day, which is very good, by the way. Now, I'm not here to judge anybody. That's not the aim. Hi guys, I, I see all your greetings, but I just had to be fast because, you know, network is so bad. I don't want us to, I don't want to be locked out again. Now, um, we are all sinners, you know, we're all sinners. We've all come short of God's glory, including myself. I'm not a saint and I will never be a saint. But when people, when fellow, when fellow sinners will carry it on their heads, will make it a point of duty to destroy you, to talk about you, to make sure that, you know, they, people inherit their enemy. When that happens, I mean, to a very large extent, you will get tired of it and you will want to defend yourself. Yes, I know I've been silent for over a year, but enough of all that now. In my place, in my dialect, they say that Upunagawarawara, Nayanagawarawara Nafia. It means that the leg that is going somehow, you see the eyes that is also looking somehow will see the leg. I don't know if it makes sense to you, but that's a, that's the much I can do. You see that your boyfriend, you see that your boyfriend, that you think you're playing so smart that nobody knows, that your boyfriend has a boy, a best friend. You see that your boyfriend, he has a best friend, and that best friend also <laughs> uh, you see married women with lots and lots of boyfriends pretending to be all righteous on social media. 
carrying my matter on their heads talking to me directly or indirectly today is our day today is our day because you you cannot in your right senses believe that whatever you do that you're protected that nobody will see it no it's not true people now fools or people they have eyes and this you know the people that, that have seen you they also have besties and one thing about me is i took my time to investigate my matters i have about 10 ladies that i'm going to expose tonight 10 ladies and i have their debtors i have it here i have all of it here before i started this uh live video i i took my time to do my investigation it took me six months to pile up this i'm going to show pictures I'm going to show evidence, even evidence that I got from their family members. Because I think a lot of people at this point are upset with the way people are all acting saints. So, before I take your questions, I'm going to expose all of them. And then when I'm done exposing them, you can now come with your questions. But before I continue, I want to acknowledge, you know, those people that... Those people that uh, called me from yesterday to today concerning this live video. They called and, you know, most of them are of the opinion that I shouldn't implicate anybody that, you know, it just isn't right. And I want to thank you all for that call. I want to thank you all for the messages Mrs. Linda, I, I, lots of you guys, I don't want to start calling names. I want to thank you all for the call. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I hear you. I heard everything you said. But... Meaning, there's a level that things will get to, then you would definitely need to speak up. Because if I didn't speak, if I've not if not if I've not cleared the air now, people will continue to say that I was in my previous marriage when I met you. When it's pure lies. When I saw him for the first time years. So why would somebody come out to say this if the plan is not to destroy you? Why would somebody come out to say